What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be on the Army Armament R30. So I actually won this gun in a giveaway recently. So we're going to check this thing out together. So let's get into this one. It's, so it's a partial unboxing. Minus all the other stuff. Okay, so first thing you get is your little instruction manual in all different languages no English and then let's take a mag, look at the mag it is a green gas single stack mag which is right there and let's take a peek at this real quick here is the Army Armament R30. It is full metal, other than the grips. Let's see. That's snappy. Anybody that knows me, I like pistols that have that snap to them. Mag actually feels very nice going in and out. Brand new gun. He... The giveaway was from Faded Pilot Props. Good tongue twister for you to try. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this up with some gas and test it out. Since it was a giveaway item, I don't know if it was used or not. But we'll get into some features before we do the chrono. So, obviously a skeletonized trigger. And then it has an adjustable hop-up, which is right in there. It has a threaded barrel for your tracer units, mock suppressors, whatever you guys want to do. Since this one is not a high kappa, it is a left-sided slide release. It is not ambidextrous, but it does have an ambidextrous safety. As you guys can see, it works right there. There's the safety on this one. There's your slide release. So then you guys can actually see it working. There's no gas in it, obviously. No BBs. And then you have a safety switch here. Which when it's up, slide cannot move. You are in safe mode. And then that is on this side as well. You get a little skeletonizing up here. Looks like M-Lock. Or, nope, key mod. But, let's take a look at that inside. I do like that. All metal. Which is awesome to see. So, all metal construction other than the polymer grips. It does have that second safety feature right there on it. So, that's pretty interesting as well. This is my first Army Armament pistol in my collection, which, as you guys can see, I got quite a bit going on now. But let's give this thing some gas. We'll put it through a chrono real quick. We're going to do it with 6mm plastic, 0.25s. Okay, after some small investigation while loading the BBs, found out it is a double stack. It is not a single stack stick style mag. So, we got our chrono set. We're going to bust a round out. 290, 288, 287, 274, 278, 267, and 263. I don't want to spend too many because I am using propane and I am indoors, which is not the best of ideas. So, yeah, just keep that in mind if you guys do use propane to... Make sure you empty it when not in use and store your propane safely. But it is a double stack bag, not a stick style. So that was my bad on that one. And as you guys can see by the chrono, it actually registered 290 to start and then dropped with the gas pressure dropping as well. So big shout out to Faded Pilot Props for the awesome gun that he gave away. Uh, as you can tell by the chrono, I didn't do the typical shoot test, shooting at a barrel. You know, that it's kind of dark where I'm at right now, and it gets dark even sooner, so I really didn't have time with yesterday being Thanksgiving. A lot of running, a lot of just random things, but 
Big shout out to Faded Pilot Props. And I hope you guys like what you saw. And make sure you subscribe, share, and continue to show your support. I will be in the process of making some new patches very soon. Um, I have two left of this design. So make sure you hit me up on social media if you're interested in those. But stay tuned for the future. I got a huge unboxing coming as well as an Amped Airsoft mystery box, $100 value, and a $99 Boneyard mystery box from Evic. So stay tuned, guys. Until next time, see you on the field.